Hey everybody, I'm excited to talk about our next female installation artist this week, Sandy Skokeland. So as you can see, uh, just by these few pictures that I put up here, she is an extremely hands-on artist. She is 73 and she is still making art today. A little bit about her background. For undergrad, she studied art history and studio art. In grad school, she studied filmmaking, multimedia art, and printmaking. And then she went on to get her MFA in painting. She also studied abroad in Paris, where she learned a lot of this tableau type stuff that she does. Uh, currently, she is an art professor at Rutgers University. So she is an installation artist who builds elaborate sets or tableaux, which is French for living picture. And she usually always incorporates live models or animatronic models. She is a photographer, a multimedia artist, which means she goes across multiple disciplines um, or multiple types of art materials she uses. She is a sculptor. She does ceramics. Uh, the cats that you see here are chicken wire and plaster. Uh, she is a conceptual artist, which means that she has her vision in mind, she has a concept in her mind, and her concepts are complex. If you ever read any interviews on her, it's very complex, the things that she is, is saying and envisioning and trying to say through her work, but she is very open to a viewer's interpretation of the work. So, for instance, just a few different things that I read about radioactive cats, critics thought uh, multiple things about it. One person thought that it was talking about the neglect uh, that our elderly feel, but then another person was saying that it had to do with the nuclear war. So everybody can kind of bring their own interpretation to it and their own imagination to Sandy Scoglin's pieces. Her process is extremely long. She has ideas that date back 30 years that she keeps in journals, takes her years to conceptualize her ideas, and then the actual sets that you see uh, take month to produce, and then it's all finalized with a photograph. Um, somebody asked her, what is the meaning of the work? And she said, what is the meaning of my work? For me, it's really in doing it. So she really is a process-oriented artist. Here are some things you're going to see when you look at her work. You're going to see brightly colored images, contrasting, meaning opposite things. Uh, remember the complementary colors are yellow and purple, orange and blue, and red and green. You also might see monochromatic scenes in her sets. You're going to see juxtapositions. You're going to see opposing elements, opposing ideas together. You're going to see some surrealism things. Remember surrealism, um, Salvador Dali with the mustache was one of the most famous surrealists. And some of those themes have to do with the unconscious mind, irrational thinking, subconscious, automatic writing and thinking, which just means doing and saying what you comes to your mind. Uh, and dream and fantasy. She has a lot of repetition in her work. As you can see in the two pieces that I posted here, that squirrel one would probably be Mrs. Cantrell's like dream, but it would be my nightmare to have all those squirrels around me. Uh, she deals with a lot of nar uh, natural versus artificial things. Uh, she thinks that you cannot live in this world without artificial elements, but she always pays respects to natural things. She always contrasts um, order and chaos and also reality or your perception of reality and imagination. She also explores subconscious fears and anxieties. Um, a critic once says that she evokes adult fears, but in a very playful and childlike context. She also works with food. Um, one of those ideas that she had 30 years ago was something about popcorn. And the top right image is made of popcorn. The bottom middle one is made of jelly beans. Uh, and the left bottom one is made out of cheese noodles. She said, I like to work with food because it is a familiar material. Skoklin explains the value of art, the educational value of art, the sort of life affirming value of art has to do with bringing our awareness of the everyday miracle that's around us, that everything is, and in its own way, if you look at it, quite strange and quite marvelous. For me, food is an icon of familiarity, which is so natural to us on a daily basis that it's almost invisible. These are two of her more recent pieces that are part of a series or a cycle, the project of the four seasons. Uh, Fresh Hybrid is down on the left corner, and then Winter, you can probably guess that, is the one right above where I'm speaking. Uh, Winter took years of experimenting with various forms of clay modeling and 3D printing led to the ultimate inclusion of digitally cut metal snowflakes bearing ultraviolet curd ink and the computer sculpted figure in owls. This is what I love about Sandy Skoglin. She never gives up and never stops learning. She's 73, you guys. And she could have just done what she did in 1968, 1970, 1980s, 1990s, 200s, 210s, but she doesn't. She keeps up with what's current 
And if it can add to the vision that she has for her art, she implements that new technique, that, that new mastery that she's acquired. She never stops learning. It's pretty fantastic. So what do I want you to do next? I would like you to watch the video, the time-lapse installation of her cocktail hour piece. It's really cool to see how everything comes together. Watch the video, uh, it's a really quick 20 second video, of Shimmering Madness, which is at the Dane Art Institute. Hopefully one day you guys can see it. And then click the three links to the, um, to the right that show off her notable installation work and behind the scenes images. Um, she had, those are pieces, of artwork that she's done in the 80s, 90s, um, and so a lot of cool things that she does as she shows behind the scene images, and especially in her Instagram, which is why I linked it first, she even shows what she doesn't use in her installation. So ideas that she had that don't work anymore that end up getting thrown away. So I hope you enjoy Sandy Skoklin as much as I do. Take care, everybody.